Dear student, today we will understand the full wave rectifier, the lab manual and the link is given in the description. Here in the lab manual, I have explained about the rectification process and the full wave rectification. So here you can find the waveform for the full wave rectification where you get output for positive as well as negative half cycle. The center tape transformer is also explained. Kindly read it. Now, if you look here, output for positive half cycle and output for negative half cycle is given. In the negative, the output is positive. So, in both cases, we get the positive output. Here, the bridge rectifier for a positive half cycle and bridge rectifier for negative half cycle is explained with the diagram. The other case diagram is also given. You should read the procedure very carefully. It will make your experiment very easy. Now, in the output section, you have to submit the output as per your roll number. You should set the parameter like load resistance and frequency. Then take the snapshot and put it over here. Now, let us go to the link and open the experiment page. Click on this link. Here you can set your window by doing control plus and control minus. So adjust your window. All parameters should be available on the screen. Now let us click on the instruction again to get the and read the instruction. Now let us start. First set the load resistance. Then make the on in the oscilloscope section. Now click on assign wave. So you will get a waveform on the screen. So you can set the parameter frequency and amplitude from this section. You can see the frequency is changing. You can also find the amplitude is changing. Now to change the volt per division and time per division which are the control parameter of the oscilloscope you can move and see the effect on the screen. Now click on oscilloscope to get the output. Here is the output. Click on dual. So we will get input and output on the same screen. You can change the position. So you can identify and verify both the waveform on the screen. Now change and take the output. Now take the snapshot and submit it in the lab manual. Here is the snapshot. Now I will put control V in the lab menu. Yes, below this sentence and then submit it. Thank you. If you have any question, write in comment.